What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here. As I told you guys before, I was going to start a story time. I've lived an amazing life, had many adventures in my life, so I figured I'd share those dope stories with y'all. Not all Dominican Republic, all around the world, back in Southside, all around New York, up and down the East Coast, Ohio, California. I got stories to tell, so as they come to me, I'll tell them to y'all. But first, are you subscribed to the channel? Hit that subscribe button. Like, share, subscribe. Support the channel. Support the Paradise Life Movement. I'm going to give you guys one second right now to hit that sub button. So, since Halloween is vastly approaching and we have the amazing Paradise Life Halloween weekend coming up, I figured I'd start with a ghost story or a fake ghost story. <laughs> um, if you're not booked for Halloween, hit me up. We have many VIP spots available as well as the all-inclusive packages to stay at the Paradise Life Party Mansion. Hit me up in the email. After this video, you'll see the pinned comments has all the information you need to contact me, the Instagrams, the website, everything, okay? And the merch stores. So, now let's get into the story. Welcome to Flipo! So this story is basically about a ghost named Peanut. Not Casper the Friendly Ghost, Peanut the Cracky Ghost, I guess we could say. To give you guys a backstory, my brother's brother's name is Peanut. Um, Peanut was what he was, you know, he was um, flaming a little bit, you know, six foot three flaming dude, cool as hell, but he just got hooked on drugs and became a master thief. like. You would literally have to hide everything you, you own from Peanut because Peanut could get it. He'll take it and, and sell it. So there was a period in time where I lived with my brother. And living with my brother means I lived with him, his six or seven siblings, his mother. We had like a four-bedroom house. So, you know, I stayed with him for a period of time as I was in transition, moving on to another spot. So when you lived with, 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 in that household, you always had to have padlocks on everything. Padlock on your door padlock on your closet like it was that bad when it came to peanut so this one particular house i was uh, transitioning in i probably stayed with him about four to six months um until i got my next my next house and peanut was in the attic flower was in the attic right so one night i'm chilling you know as i said we keep locks on everything when you when you close your door you got to lock yourself in because seriously peanut would literally pick locks he can, he can get in any way, any type of way he'll, he finally get in. He's going to get in. Just to break this down to you, you guys know what a real crackhead from the 90s and 2000s, nothing can stop them, <laughs> you know? So, I'm in the crib one day chilling. Doors are locked. Closets, even when I'm in the crib, closets are locked because I ain't going to go in there for nothing. Padlock on the inside because I'm chilling. You know, I'm about to doze off. And I'm watching a horror movie. So, I don't know what movie it was. It might have been like Ghost Ship or something like that. I love horror movies. So I'm watching this horror movie, and it's got ghosts. And you know, I love watching horror movies at night because it's real intense, and to me, it brings out the movie. I like, I like that, that, that horror. So, watching a horror movie, enjoying it, doze off. No problem, right? Normal, normal night. Watch a movie, doze off. About three in the morning, I got the urge to pee. So I wake up, but then I'm like. Do I really want to go get out of bed or I'm going to go back to sleep? The TV's doing that. Remember that? The old TVs, they did that. Where it's, not, it's not fuzzy, but it's just black and it's sitting there because the, the movie's over. So there's nothing on the screen but black. So that's the little bit of light coming from the TV, a little blackness. I'm laying in the bed and I, I, I feel something looking at me. But it's 3 in the morning. Greg, you just watched a horror movie. You're bugging. So I look over to my left. My bed was on the right. I look over to my left. 
and I see a ghost. I see the whole ghost thing that we knew about ghosts, the sheet floating in the air. I was like, oh, oh, whoa. Takes me about 25 seconds to realize ain't no damn ghost. That's Peanut. <laughs> he had the sheet up his head and he, he was trying to get in my closet. I don't know how the hell he got in the room. But I looked and I said, I'm having a heart attack because I'm like, oh, the ghost came from the movie and got me. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then I go, Peanut, yo, get your ass out of my room. <laughs> and he, he turns around with the, with the, with the, uh, with the sheet, opens the door and skates out. <laughs> I'm like, my well, heart's in my throat because I'm like, the ghost from the movie just came in the room to get me. Like, oh, my God. But luckily, it was a crackhead. So, long story short, Peanut the unfriendly ghost or the cracky ghost scared the hell out of me because I literally sat there and thought it was a ghost. And it was like, I don't know if you guys remember Beetlejuice when the family was walking around, they had the sheets on, and I was like, ooh, ah, it was like that. But he just stood there trying to like blend in. Like he, he wasn't there, but he was there and uh, scared the hell out of me. So. That's my first story uh, of story time. I hope you guys liked it. I got many more stories to come. I'm trying to keep them short. Um, as I said, we're getting ready for Halloween, so I thought of, let me tell the fake ghost story. I have a real ghost story too, but stay tuned for that one. Um, so welcome to the first edition of story time. As I said, if you're booked for Halloween or not booked for Halloween, get at me. We got VIP spots available. The Big Paradise Life Halloween weekend coming up in October. Also, check the pinned comments for the websites, the merch stores, the Instagrams, everything. I appreciate you guys. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, comment on me. Let me know if you've ever, ever had any fake ghost stories or any real ghost stories. And stay tuned for more. Appreciate all y'all. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out.